Hey everyone, it's Anik again. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be an update for my Pan That palette. I'm pretty excited about the progress that I have in this one, so I'm just going to go ahead and jump right on into things. Um, the palette I'm using for this project is the Soft Glam palette. As you can see, it has been very loved since I've purchased it. I got it actually on a launch. You may remember from the intro, I already had one shadow completely panned, and I had pan on five others. Um, so we'll go ahead and look at what the palette looked like before like before and here's what it looks like now so as you may have noticed I have burnt orange completely panned and it's a little hard to tell but sultry also has new pan as well um, expanded dusty rose a little bit. I only used it once, so it expanded it pretty well. Um, glistening has a little bit more pan and just a tiny bit more progress on orange soda. And mulberry extended that pan and thinned out that pan just a little bit more. It's a little more difficult to see, but noir and a cypress umber have a tiny bit of progress as well. So really exciting. I was able to meet my goal. My goal was to completely pan burnt orange by the first update and I was able to do that. I only used it about 11 times um, since I started this project and hit pan. There's like a tiny little bit in the corner and I tried to like get to it um, but it wasn't enough to make like a complete look with it. Uh, so it might have been like stretched to 12, but at 11 it was pretty much gone. Um, glistening I've used, like I'm wearing it right now, just to kind of give some shimmer to my look. Um, but I've really been using Noir and a Cypress Umber as liners every day. Like one day I didn't even put eyeshadow on, I just put Cypress Umber as like a thick liner, mascara, and that was my look for the day. Um, but I'm really trying to hone in on those two shades in particular because they didn't have a lot of progress at the start of this project and they're pretty pigmented and I'm a little bit afraid that I might not hit pan, let alone completely pan those two shades. So I'm trying to like just get in there really early on. Um, but so far, so good. I'm really excited about the progress on this. Um, my goal for next time is definitely going to focus on this dusty rose color and maybe rose pink. Um, try to hit pan on that. We're coming into February, the month of love, and so I really just want to take the time to take advantage of that and get these like pinky, more like romantic colors knocked out of this palette. I do still have a long way to go. There are seven shades in this palette that don't have pan at all yet. Um, fairy. We have Fairy, Rose Pink at the top, Sienna, Rustic, Cypress Umber, Noir, and then we have Bronze as well that do not have any kind of pan. Um, I think I'm getting pretty close with Rose Pink, but not quite yet. So All right, so that is my short and sweet update for my Pan That palette. Like I said, I really want to focus on the shades Dusty Rose and rose pink coming into February, doing more like pinky romantic looks. Um, I want to have Dusty Rose completely panned, and then maybe like a little bit of pan showing on that rose pink shade. Oh, that light is like blinding. Um, a little bit more pan on that rose pink shade. Um, I'm pretty sure I can expand on the glistening. I had some pan in that corner beforehand, and I'm just kind of like going through it every time like I use it on my lid or as an inner corner highlight. So maybe more progress on that as well. So those three shades I'm definitely going to want to see a lot of progress on. Um, and then again, Cypress Umber and Noir down here in the corner. I'm going to keep using those as liners um, so that they're always being used for something, um, darkening up my outer corners, just so I'm not letting them wait until the very end of the year. So. That's my goal. 
Um, thank you for watching this update. I'm really excited about this project and how well it's going so far. Let me know in the comments below if you have any Pandas palette projects going on right now. I would love to check them out and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.